I have vivid memories of my mother um, wrapping plastic tubes around her arm with her boyfriend, putting things on spoons and melting the thing on the spoon and injecting a syringe with the liquid and injecting it into her arm. So one night, my mom's boyfriend, after a drug binge, um, ran a tub of scalding hot water and stripped my two plus zero baby brother's clothes off and submerged him in a tub of scalding hot water. And um, as I later read the reports, uh, two thirds of his body were scalded and with second and third degree burns. That incident changed our lives. We never lived with, with each other again as siblings. Um, my brother never lived with my mother again as a, um, as a son. And I was, he was put in the hospital and to recuperate from his injuries, I went into several different foster homes. My first experience with Reverend Armstrong, I guess we attended his installation service and he told the story of his life mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. sort of shocked us in a way. And out of that experience, it has brought him to this strong religious life mm -hmm. that, and he has studied very hard for it. He has a way with kids. Yes, kids wants to be around him. They want to <laughs> they want to talk to him. They want to touch him. They want to feel him. He has a way with kids. I preach twice a Sunday to hundreds of families. If I can reach those families with newborn children and wrap myself around them as a pastor, preacher, faith leader, I think it has so much um, it's such a richer opportunity to engage them and to tie in all of their other worlds because often what folk will say is that their faith is the, is the strongest thing that defines their identity. To reach a family at the earliest stages of that child's development, I think I'm doing a, a major part in advancing child abuse prevention and family strengthening on the front end before families get into crisis on the back end. My journey from South Central LA to one of America's quote unquote elite institutions across the country to Princeton is all littered with angels who helped me along my way. And so the one thing I take from my experiences is that I've got to be, to whom much is given, much is required. I've got to be now an angel, like I had many angels, I've got to be an angel in somebody else's life. I want to be my daughter's first love and I'll be my son's biggest hero. And if I can shape them to be better world citizens, um, I've done my part, I've broken my cycle. My family reminds me every day of what I didn't have, what I do have, and what I want other folks' children to have.